Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. So this week, let's go ahead and talk about how to combat the high gas prices that we as RVers are experiencing. Now we just ran some quick numbers and we said an average 500 mile trip. If you're only pulling eight miles to the gallon, which means you've got a big truck like I do, a real truck, right? You're gonna spend about an extra $175 in just in fuel in that trip. So first thing is we need to look at perspective or a matter of perspective. Uh, we all hate the high gas prices, but when we look at it, we got about $175 more for a 500 mile trip. Let's talk about some ways that we can save or gain back that $175. Now, the first and foremost, find some fuel programs. One of the fuel programs, if you have a diesel, I wanna go ahead and talk to you about one that's called TSD. All right, with TSD, just ran some numbers over there, got some numbers that just came in, like just like that, saving about $25 on a, on a fill up of a tank, okay? So that was about 40 gallons, saved $25 there. If you don't have a diesel, there are some other gas programs out there that you can actually get a part of. Next thing is, is I wanna call the three Ps. What we wanna do is we wanna ask you to pack lighter. The lighter you are, the less you have to pull, the less fuel you're gonna use, right? Plan your trip. Hey, maybe instead of going 500 miles, why don't we find a park or something like that, maybe only 400 miles or 300 miles during that trip. And then finally, pack a lunch. Right? I know that as our viewers, we want to go out, we want to find a lot of different things, but you know what? There's a lot of fun in packing your lunch, doing old school, you know, sandwich or something like that. Another thing is, is avoid a lot of high stop areas, high stop traffic. Don't go through uh, cities if at all possible. Take the country route or something like that. Because of course, if we can get the trucks or rams up to speed and we keep them in gear, up in their highest gear, then of course we're gonna be the most efficient. It's when we slow down and, and ramp back up that we're gonna have a lot of fuel um, that we're using. So try and get up to speed and stay up to speed, which means go ahead and once you get up to speed, go ahead and hit your cruise control, right? You stay in cruise control when you're at speed. Now, I don't recommend using cruise control as you're going up there because cruise control will try and get to that speed the fastest, which means it's gonna really rev your engine. Back off of that, right? Just don't don't try and give it so much. Don't try and accelerate so much. Just take your leisurely time. Now let's go ahead and talk about the vehicle itself. We want to make sure that when you're traveling, that you're traveling most efficient, which means check the pressure in your tires. Make sure that they are filled up. Now, when you read your tires and it says that the temperature or the pressure should be, you know, checked at cold, max pressure at cold, that means before you travel, right? So you want to check your um, tires before you pull out. Okay, doesn't matter what the temperature is outside, that is cold, you haven't moved them, right? On average, they may increase anywhere between five and 10% when you're out there on the road or something like that pressure-wise, but we want good pressure in the tire, so consult your manual, consult your tire for what that pressure is. And finally, let's throw it to you. I mean, this is an important topic. What do you have as fuel savings? Put this down in the comments below so that way we can share. All we're trying to do is combat. We don't wanna give up the RV lifestyle, but let's combat these high fuel prices. And there's your tech tip. If you want to be able to fix the majority of the problems on your ring, or let's say you want to open up a business, become a certified inspector or a certified RV technician, head over to our website at nrvta.com, click on programs and get started today. Hey, we know it's summertime and well, we have high gas prices. So this week, let's talk about how to beat the gas high, <laughs> the gas high prices. <laughs> Did 60, to, no, I actually did four. <laughs> okay, the three P's to actually traveling, right? The first thing we want to do is look those damn three P's up again. 